Tim Reynolds is calling for major reforms at an agency many of you may never have heard of, even though it's an important part of Iowa's education system. Our Iowa State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks looks at why area education agencies, or AEAs, are now in the political spotlight. Shortly after a Perry High School student killed his principal and a sixth grader inside the school, the Area Education Agency had staff on the scene. Uh, after the first responders, the AAs were some of the first people on the scene with crisis counseling and, and so on, and they're still there this week. John Spear with the Grant Wood AEA in Cedar Rapids says an AEA's main focus is special education, but says they also provide critical services to all students. We work with uh, schools, students, families, and districts to provide services in three areas, special education, media and technology, and education services. Iowa has nine area education agencies, which send out consultants to schools to help teachers with students struggling with literacy, math, and science. So they would go out and work with districts, could be individual school buildings, um, working on implementation of uh, curriculum on best practice teaching strategies. Spear says the changes proposed would create chaos for AEAs. Right now, school districts fund AEA special education programs. Governor Kim Reynolds wants each school district to decide how to use that money, whether it be using a different AEA or spending those funds in their own classrooms. State Representative Brent Segrist, who previously served as the executive director of the Iowa Association of Area Education Agencies, says that could impact rural districts. If you go to fee for service, which, you know, you can do, I, I think the fear is, is that some of your smaller rural districts won't get the same level of, of service. Seagrass shares Governor Reynolds' desire to make the system more efficient, but thinks it should be done differently. One way to do that but maintain the level of service is to combine the AEAs and remove some layers of administration. Another thing Seagrass points out, private schools also use services from AEAs. If the current model goes away, they'd have to pay out of pocket too. In Des Moines, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.